All right, so finals it is. It's going to be Spectre and Death Sentence versus Kappa XD, AKA Dimitri, and Cold Hunger. Cold Hunger getting dealt Traveler 59, whereas his ally getting dealt Nod. So if we scroll over to the left of the map, we can see Death Sentence who has maintained green, playing as the Black Hand. And over to the bottom, we can see his ally playing as the, well, the red screen. Uh, it's gonna be Spectre. All right, sliding over in the top right-hand corner as the Saiyan Blue Traveler 59, we have Cold Hunger. And sliding over the bottom right-hand corner as the pink Nod Faction, we have Kappa XD, a.k.a. Dimitri, or Dimmy. All right, and it looks like we have Death Sentence opting to go for both of the spikes, whereas we have Cold Hunger, who is going for them as well, not opting to go for the Descent Rush. I thought maybe he would have done that, but no. Just gonna go buzzers, and he's Traveler 59, so that's very peculiar. Uh, meanwhile, we have, uh, I think the other two players did in fact go for Refinery first, which is always the case if you don't go spikes, because it's silly going for Power Pump first if you're not taking them, because there's no reason to build a barracks. Yeah, definitely. I find that uh, Cold Hunger maybe not opting to go for the Descent Rush, since due, given the distance there is to... Uh do that i think that the distance is too long to really make that a secure strategy whereas in t i believe this map is just a little bit wider than tiberium forest unless i am or not tiberium forest but forgotten forest unless i'm mistaken yeah also the nerf um can make it a lot worse now um uh, previously the synths were the best strategy for traveler in 2v2s but now with their nerf in r12 it's not probably the best idea probably best to use them uh, more defensively nowadays in 2v2. Yeah, but that nerf only does apply to Traveler 59 unless I am mistaken to the Disintegrators. True. Anyhow, do we have a rush coming out from Death Sentence as he is Blackhand if I'm not mistaken? No, we're just going for Eco. And meanwhile we have... Uh, who's purple again? It's going to be Dimitri. We're going to just Eco as well, so nothing coming out of these guys. They're just going to play stock standard, going to expand, and we're going to find ourselves... Uh, coming, approaching quickly into a macro-oriented game. Yeah, definitely. And it does look like both players are relatively even. Um, just uh, Demi just a little bit more ahead, but uh, it depends when who expands first as... Not opting to go in between both the tip fills as per last matchup we saw where players did go in between each tip filled. I'm not sure if that's a major factor to note, but it certainly is. Well, uh, Death Sentence is just going to eco in this game. Neither one of these players in this game looks like they want to go for the blue tip just yet. Uh, so they're just going to eco and yeah, it is a final. So I guess um, all is on the line. You gotta, I guess playing safe is the best way forward. It does put you in a good spot if your opponent decides to go for aggression because if you can hold it off, you're in a good spot, usually, most of the time. But, uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say right now, aside from they're all echoing. It looks like uh, Spectre going for some Seekers right now, possibly to secure that Blue Tiberium, which is the, the first thing that they go for on this map. Because this Blue Tip field will grow over time. It starts off empty, but uh, over time it will grow. There's a Harvester there, though, coming towards it. And if um, Dimitri's not paying attention, he's going to lose that. Uh, I would certainly be pulling it off the line right now, as there is going to be forces uh, rapidly uh, growing here. And that's going to be a, f a harvester kill. There's literally nothing that can uh, that, that can go in um, Dimitri's favor here. Yeah, definitely. And this harvester is just barely surviving, but we'll go down at one more super shot here. But uh, he's lost a lot of forces against that engagement. Um, the Disintegrator is coming out without advanced articulators, and I don't think he has the state. He does, but it's not quite done yet, which is shocking. Yeah, that uh, Harvester going down is going to uh, make um, Death Sentence Inspector a little more comfortable in this game, knowing that they have a one-up, so they're just going to play it safe right now and get further in the lead, which is... Yeah, Obviously, I, I you can't fault them on that. Back these seekers as he should have took advantage of the disintegrators not having advanced articulators, which now they do. But now he's opting to pull those back, 
as beacons are being placed at the top here, all these bikes coming in to take out all of uh, oh, uh that's bad. He doesn't have an answer to this. Well, being forced to put a lightning spike down, which will do notable damage, but not enough for this many bikes like he has. I do believe this will be the end of the game, but no, actually, those are not his bikes as well. Those are, uh, 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 regardless, he's taking uh, significant damage. Uh, he's t gonna lose three to four harvesters, and Death Sentence is gonna pay nothing in return for it. Maybe just a few bikes, but that was pretty awful. And so far, yeah. everything's going badly wrong for Dimitri and Cold Hunger. Uh, this is uh, looking really good for uh, Death Sentence Inspector so far. They're in a great position in this first game. Yeah, but you have to do note that he is Traveler, so he doesn't need quite as much money as the other factions to make things work, especially with these disintegrators and possibly a hexapod coming out since he has yeah. tier 3. I would have certainly expected uh, more portals being thrown down by Cold Hunger, seeing how there is limited anti-infantry here for both Spectre and Death Sentence. Yeah, definitely. But that was an excellent uh, support power use right there. I do fail to remember the name of that support power as it does prevent all these Seekers from coming in and doing damage. Yeah, well, I guess this guy is from StarCraft 2, so he probably has a lot of experience with those uh, sentry uh, shields. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Descent's chasing down these Seekers, but there is a few buggies there, which will dispatch them if he doesn't change targets. At the bottom left-hand corner here, we have Spectre going for his uh, epic unit already, as well as uh, uh, the bottom right here. We actually have a wormhole, or not wormhole, but a signal transmitter with a uh, mass prodigy coming out, which I'm assuming is going to be for a wormhole of the cap of MCV. Maybe opting to go for um, a snipe on Spectre's MCV, which will be critical if he can get it. Oh yeah, that's going to be uh, pretty critical, especially as there is no um, airfield. Yeah. Airfield. So if he loses that, he's pretty much out of it. He's going to have to forfeit the game, I think, to give money to Spectre if that does happen, because you know that money Absolutely. is useless if you get no production. I do believe that's what he's looking for. He doesn't have oh. eyes on him just yet. As oh I wow, they're, they're really taking the fight back. Uh, this warp chasm, though. It, he could have gone in and killed it. I mean, I reckon it's worth going in there, maybe losing a few units. Absolutely. And as I said, the mm, Mastermind is coming out. The Prodigy uh, is coming in. He takes the Tier 3. What? I question that. I think he would have been better going for that drone platform. But he doesn't. Yeah, well, it. it's still out and or about. Or even the Warp Chasm would have been a better option. He's decided to keep the Prodigy at home. Oh, that was a nice uh, turnaround there. He was really good on the micro there. Well played to Cold Hunger. My god, that was a good... Uh, uh, response time to those buzzers and this prodigy is just gonna wreck havoc again is gonna kill a uh, another building is gonna take this there is no charged particle beams for death oh he's gonna watch his prodigy uh, he just needs to kill that tech center and he's fine no it oh, goes he down goes for the teleport but doesn't quite get it at that budget it goes for the building. And then we do have a gravity stabilizer coming out. We're seeing that, uh, just taking yeah. note of that um, prodigy's aware, uh, presence on the map. He was ever so close in taking out that tech lab. I reckon, yeah, that was uh, nicely done there by Cold Hunger. You can't Ooh, fault the guy's micro. He came down on um, death sentences. Refineries taking out both of them actually, which is critical. Oh, I got buys coming in for, from. Um, from Dimitri and Dimitri, yes. there was a Tiv Vane just used there. Not sure if that was intentional. Probably not. Tripods no, Hexbot okay. gonna respond, but yeah, the guys with the expansions right now are Death Sentence and Spectre. They're the ones who have the middle of the map secured. So despite all this harassment, it means very little they if they're up against two epics. Here. I think he's going to look for getting the. MCV as he's going to run through these tripods to get as if he does No, he's gonna he Prodigy is back. No. Uh, he needs to kill. He needs to get that uh, drone ship Yeah, if he, he just he gets the drone do. ship he wins. I mean he yeah, it looks definitely. like this is really good from Spectre He's anticipating he's gonna lose his drone ship. So he's already making another one. That's a sign of a very good player right there Yes, it is. being able to read ahead That was very well done by the way by uh, Spectre. I'm quite surprised to see him do that um, yeah, bikes wrecking havoc at the top of the map. You gotta get more oh, units. Oh, he did actually get the MCV, and he teleported the engineer to save it from the sold-off drone ship. Wow. And there's that bikes is... in the top of the map, killing all of Death Sentence's harvesters. And I guess the Hexbot is on the way for Cold Hunger. 
This game is not looking so good for Death Sentence right now. And there is no charge particle beams. Okay, there it is right there. A bit late, honestly, because that priority did way too much damage. These bikes did way too much damage. And he's going to lose one more harvester. Spectre going to fall. Um, one more harvester going to go down for him. Now, despite this expansion, it means very little when this Prodigy is out and about. There is one refinery there, so I guess all this Prodigy has to do is just take that and it'll be fine in this game. Maybe he can even throw down a plasma missile battery and what is take care of this. Note here, that gravity stabilizer is building a drone ship. He can, if he could somehow snipe that out in time, which I don't see happening, he could prevent them out of this game. But is another mastermind going to be our Prodigy going to be coming out to snipe his MCV yet again? I am, I am amazed. I am amazed. So, oh, I'm going to see an expansion out of Dimitri right now. Devastated warships coming out for. All right, teleports. Oh, they're are back. They planning? I do believe they're planning to teleport. Oh no, they failed. If you didn't note it, Cold Hunger tried teleporting, um, uh, Dimmy's MCV to the center of the map with the Prodigy, which would have been extremely. Oh, he good just, play. You, he just. Oh wow, that was a nice bit of teamwork right there. He just phased both. Of, I mean. Not phased, but cloaked uh, both the epic units. It's yeah, going definitely. To... He also teleported it to that spot, which is very good. Use Prodigy, Prodigy does go down. Uh, one thing to note is that the blue field is uh, a nice size right now, but uh, there is two mecha piece there from uh, Spectre just to ensure that that doesn't get harvested by one of these players. Now, despite all that aggression from Dimitri and Cold Hunger, uh, there is um, still an expansion for Death Sentence in the top, and that's uh, one advantage uh, you have to give to. Um, Ooh, death excellent sentence. Regen at the bottom here, the Redeemer Regen. Oh, that was so good! He gets all the mechas. Nicely done there. Yeah, wiping out all those mechas with that Regen. Optimal use of it. Um, I do believe is there another Prodigy on the map. No, I don't. Yes, there is. Sitting right in the back. I reckon he should uh, build some Corruptors. He is going for some type of... There is no I garrisons in this hex. Characters. There is no garrisons in it. He's going to lose it if he pushes forward. Spectre is in all kinds of trouble right now, and in the top of the map, uh, he's, he's got only two harvesters harvesting that Tiberium, so despite what it looks like up there, there's not much in the way of harvesting going on. No, there's, those Devastators will be taking down another refinery, it looks like. Oh no, the first refinery, that was a mistake. Where's the Redeemer? But yeah, that'll be going down. Dimitri, what the Redeemer is... is at the bottom middle here next to the blue tip. Uh, oh, I really not think... Sure what he's doing. Oh, Prodigy! He, he must have bugged. It must have bugged. Oh, yeah. That would, it absolutely must have been a bug. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. That's very unfortunate for Cold Hunger. He would have uh, been able to do some significant damage there. Nice response there by uh, Spectre, though. What Cold Hunger could have done was he could have just airy mind controlled that uh, MCV when it was packing up. Yeah, definitely. Bikes, though, uh, growing in mass for Dimitri. Uh, this drone ship, though, is in jeopardy still. He needs to move this hex ball forward, though, so he can get his disc segments in range, so he can kill this drone ship faster. We've got yeah, bikes absolutely. rolling over the place there. Oh, the, the refineries have gone up the top. How did that happen? He must have got them. Yeah, the two devastators just wiped them out, and that turn was too late to respond. Oh, the hexapod so is EMP'd. This is massive. On. The drone ship does get phased, though. That was a nice phase. Uh, Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Got both the, uh, that was... Wow. Gives Who is this guy? This Cold Hunger. He did phenomenal the in that Cold game. Cold Hunger, you said the Prodigy combined with his teamwork with that Stealth Redeemer was just critical. And honestly, I, I will not lie. Uh, Master he, Reef, I am starting to see what you mean by this cold hunter guy. Dude. Yeah, yeah, quite it, good. It, <laughs> I'm just speechless right now. I, I thought, I, I thought maybe it was, uh, I was just maybe dreaming or something. Uh, I, but yeah, he's just, he's just that good. What can I say? He's just, he's just that good. The only word I can think of right now, Sam. All right, so second game it is, and they've decided to pick Suburban Arena. So Spectre and Death Sentence on the down, uh, they're actually behind for the first time uh, in the last two series. It's 1-0 for uh, Dimitri and Cold Hunger. Really and shocking. 
If we go over to the left-hand side, we can see playing as the red. Of course, it is Spectre. He's going to be playing as GDI. And to the bottom, we have uh, Death Sentence, who is playing as Reaper 17. And if we scroll over to the right-hand side, who do we have playing? On the top right-hand corner, we have Cold Hunger playing as the pink Reaper 17. And sliding over to the bottom right-hand corner as the orange black hand, we have Dimmy, a.k.a. Kappa XD. All right, well, that's going to be an interesting matchup. There's no Traveler involved here, so there is one black hand, though, for Dimitri, and Dimitri does love his infantry spam, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes, uh, considering how there's no... Uh, there's a GDI, there's a GDI faction and a Scrin faction. Infantry makes absolute sense here. So let's see uh, how that goes for him. And Cold Absolutely Hunger... Looking, yeah, absolutely looking forward to uh, the infantry coming out here. As a lot of Cabals are actually being drafted, I, I would presume he'd be going for a flame tank with all these um, Cabal drafts, is what one would assume. That's true. Uh, looks like Cold Hunger just going to establish Eco right now, as well as um, Death Sentence. So nothing again coming out from either one of these players. That War Factory is placed in a very aggressive, aggressive position. Stance, yes, as but as you see, um, Death Sentence note with the beak in there, realizing that as well. But yeah, that's and one thing. Uh, the rush distance on this map is really small, and I'm surprised yep. that um, in, in the last time we we were, we were casting this map that we didn't see a flame rush coming out of uh, who was it? One Vision. Because the map distance, the, the, the rush distance is so short that you can probably get a flame tank over there in no time. Uh, so yeah. yeah, absolutely. And even seeing this, I think the uh, Reaper 17 player is going to have quite the trouble uh, countering this, even though he's seen it way in advance. As these flame tanks are just going to be rolling over there, and, and there's we no... haven't seen a single seeker. And yeah, there's nothing to counter this. And there's, there's I think no. You really underestimated this. There's uh, no. Rush. There's no nod faction from uh, Spectre, so he won't be able to support. Death Sentence. Death Sentence is going to be alone trying to fend off versus those flame tanks. Meanwhile, we have Cold Hunger, who's just going to casually eco in this game. Perhaps he should go for a tier 2 to support his ally with a nerve uh, a lightning spike. One thing he can and do... this Seeker is going to be killed Ooh, by this flame tank. That's massive. Very poor micro. And I don't think he has enough time to get a death tank out. Oh, this no, is going to be I massive. this will be a quick game 2 for uh, <laughs> Death Sentence and... Hunting, yeah, man. just go for the War Factory, man. What's he doing? Come on. War Factory, and that's game. Once he gets that, there's a one and he's tank going to here. lose another secret to this? Oh no, there's another flame tank too. Right, just get yeah, the flame the tank team around team. the war, the refinery, and you can get that. Come on, man, just get it around there. He's actually oh. force firing, and he's pulling back the reckoner, which is a smart move. At this point. He is going to get the refinery. Yeah. Oh. Yep, he gets the refinery, and that is going to be game. That is. I, I'm just calling it now. He sells the nerve center, realizing he needs money for it. I wonder if he does have money for that. I reckon he would. He does save the uh, the Reckoner, so he, can, he has the opportunity to put more units in that okay. Reckoner. And this is bad for Death Sentence. Death Sentence is actually very much on the back foot now. Dimitri, uh, he's only got three Harvesters. I'd imagine he would have been more ahead than two, that. Two down for um, Cold Hunger here, as well as... Uh, uh, yeah, he's just he's basically the safeguard in this. Uh, game. He's basically ecoing, securing the late game as a. Uh, uh, if I was uh, Dimitri, I would probably draft another tier two, which he has done. He's going to go in and uh, try and get one more refinery. Uh, this dev tank of Death Sentence is not responding. I'm not sure if you saw that, but yeah, that's going to be massive for for uh, Dimitri. This double flame reckoner coming into Death's base. That's going to cause even more havoc. Honestly, I think he should deploy it right next to the drone ship and the refinery if I was him. But he might be often going between both the refs. Oh no, this get this is so bad. Be a bad idea. Oh, he's not he's not doing any. What is he doing with his reckoner? Come oh, on. he could have had that down ages ago. He does get the deploy before the uh, lightning seat gets a shot, which is notable but happy because that is. It's not the best placement hunting. either, because I'm not sure if he has enough range. Actually, he does probably have enough range to get that refinery. He does absolutely, but. The building block, if he gets a building block from a... Uh, yeah, um, Spectre. Spectre, that would be heavily, yes he is. And he's going to but it is a double flame perfect. Reckoner. And if Dimitri's paying yeah. attention, he should definitely focus down the buildings here. I'm not sure what he's oh, doing right now. he's hitting the Harvesters with the Flame Reckoner. It is, oh no, he's hitting the Dead Tank. I didn't even see that. Yeah, a bit slow. 
I'm not sure if he's going to have enough time to dispatch this. Oh Actually, yeah, he probably will with the double uh, it's ranking. It's no, maybe. What? No, oh, that was like such it. a cake right there. Wow, can't believe that. Oh my god, look at all these uh, dev tanks. If he has stasis shield, which he does, he's going to yeah, disconnect all those. Yeah, just on top of it this game. Jesus. <laughs> so look at all these dev tanks. Yeah, oh yeah. God. That's not... He doesn't even have a corruptor. He's just damage. <laughs> And this is going to be bad for Spectre. Is he going to oh. trap these effectively? You can see them he coming from the top. His, oh, oh, he, no, he doesn't quite trap them. And with this kiting potential here, it will just spend the death of these predator tanks. That's a very nice micro, by the way, from Cold Hunger, pulling those back over there. Yeah. And these flame, these harvesters are now in He's sight. He's only lost one death tank so far. With oh. Oh, we got infantry as well. That was a beautiful stasis as well. That was absolutely beautiful. I think he's going to go in to finish up the rest of these red tanks. And now we got infantry coming out from Dimitri, just keeping death centers out of this game. And this infantry coming down here, he just has no answer with this. Yeah, this is going for storm right. Oh, he's going to spot these storm riders against Reaper 17. That's about the worst thing you can do. And dev tanks are just. Uncontested. Oh, but he has to watch out for those shatter shots, as though he, those will be pivotal in this engagement. As the drone ship is going to fall for death sentence to these infantry, as he said, yet no answer to these, and that will spell the death of death sentence, ironically. Yeah, and Spectre kind of getting walked over right now, and also the surprise uh, gravity stabilizer is also spotted. So there goes Death Sentence's opportunity to come back in a big way with Storms, but that's not going to happen because he's up against Reaper 17 and Dimitri of all these infantry forces. And yeah, this is pretty much good game. So 2-0, surprisingly. Who would have fought for Cold Hunger and Dimitri? Yeah, Cold Hunger definitely just... Yeah, he's really on point. Yeah. He's even going for his yes, upgrades now. He's already gone for Reaper tripods behind us, just in case the dev tanks didn't finish the game. And As, yeah. If you look closely, um, Spectre is actually in a very good uh, eco. But he's using Economic losing position. all of his tanks to the infantry now. Um, I don't think anyone really would really think agree on that. that. Death really just quit out of this game, but he's opting to go for a drone ship. Uh, I question this choice. Yeah, and the way it's going, uh, I can see this series definitely going for Cold Hunger and Dimitri, but anything can happen because it's only 2 0. There is always opportunities for uh, Spectre and Death Sentence to come back, but they're going to need to play much better than this and maybe even not go random because random in this game did actually hurt them. Yeah, definitely. I believe they're just quite a bit too cocky when it comes to. Uh, uh, underestimating cold hunger so that's unfortunate so yeah that's two nil for cold hunger and dimitri so dimitri looking uh he's getting closer to winning his first ever tournament i do believe i'm not sure if he's actually won anything before but we can i all, don't believe he has no we can just i mean look at cold hunger's eco just he was the only player who was left untouched in that game so of course he'll just come out on top and win but yeah, nicely done by uh, Dimitri getting a death sentence um, out of the game so soon. Uh, the flame tanks definitely did it for him. Uh, the rush distance obviously playing a big uh, role in that rush working out for uh, Dimitri. Yeah. And basically, he seems to be um, pretty adept in all the factions from what I can tell. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be GDI for Cold Hunger. Spectre was a bit undecided for a moment going screen, but now he's actually going to go Traveler. Uh, Death Sentence tr uh, Black Hand and Dimitri Black Hand, so it's going to be uh, another game uh, on Unsound Investment. Uh, we have, um, I do believe, Spectre and Death Sentence in the top of the map. Alright, so in the top left hand side of the map, we can see Spectre playing as the red Travel 59. And over to the right, we see his teammate Death Sentence playing as the green Black Hand. They're behind 2 0, and they need to do something right now. All right, sliding over in the bottom right-hand corner on um, as the orange black hand, we have Demi, aka Cap XD, and going over to the bottom left-hand corner or bottom right-hand corner as the purple GDI, we have Cold Hunger. Go opting to go for the center spike with an NG as a uh, Dimitri is going to be or Demi is going to be capturing the two spikes in the back of the base. 
Yeah, Cold Hunger going to uh, easily secure that uh, middle spike uh, with ease, actually. And, um, and shockingly enough, Spectre has going the for and going for descent. Does he have his? No, he doesn't have a. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. This is this is not gonna go. Oh my god! Oh, it's cold hunger spreading. He made an error. I can't see this as being on purpose. I mean, how, how does cold hunger have suspicions that he's going that way? I mean, he's sending all of his rifles close to the bottom. Uh, I think he's just going for the garrisons. Uh, but he's sending yeah, all of them back. Going for the garrisons. Maybe he knows it's coming, but I don't know. Did he get a scout into Spectre's base to know that that's coming? That's really weird. That is weird, actually. Why would he... Huh. Maybe... I guess I do this sometimes myself. I, I expect uh, descent rushes, so I pull back all my uh, rifle yeah, squads. Yeah, have them on point, like, right there. I mean, that's... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is a little suspicious, is it not? Inspector's like, what? How how does this guy know? <laughs> <laughs> he's even he's even saying it in the chat, like, what? This is not really normal, man. But maybe he's just good. I mean, you can't fault him. His gameplay is good. He's not playing like a noob. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, and I've seen players like Wookie Bert, for instance. Who pulls back his scouts? If he's up against Trial of 59, he just pulls back the scouts because you know the only threat to your harvesters are in the lake in the early game is uh, disintegrators. All right, so let's see if Cold Hunger is um, a bit suspicious of this. It doesn't. Reckoner and double flame Reckoner, might I add? All right, well, you should see these descent. So there goes the surprise descent harassment. They're going to get cleaned up, and uh, Still yeah, that's. Last legs, though. I mean, I just can't fathom why. <laughs> And yeah, Dimitri is ahead in this game quite substantially. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, what did what did um, Death Sentence do? Oh, he's going to get both these power plants at the bottom here with this flame tank, which is going to be critical. Oh, and there and is a Reckoner, Reckoner as well. In. Oh my God, he's going to get both reps. Depending that on that is going to get taken Reckoner out. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, he's going to get the, he's going to get both. Uh, I'm not sure if he can get two refineries, but he's definitely going to get no, one. He's going to get that back, so he definitely. He has two flames. That's definitely going down. And these pitbulls might even go down if he doesn't mic them. But, but so we'll uh, yeah, death yeah. sentence uh, is getting harassed in the top of the map. He's he gonna get a harvester taken out. Ref, as I pointed out, oh, if he gets this ref, that's gonna be If we look in the top yeah. of the map, we can see a death sentence is gonna oh. lose two harvesters. He's gonna be on two harvesters in the moment. And he's even gonna lose a third harvester if he's not gonna move oh, this out of the way. I think this is Refining. worth sacking all these bikes for that one harvester. Oh, it's actually even a bit uh, questionable, that decision now, actually. Uh, how did he lose his refinery? I'm not sure. He lost both of his refineries and his war factory to that flame rush. Well, that's so pretty he's, bad. He's out of the game. I mean... Well, not really. I, I mean, if he has enough to get a refinery out, he... He does not. He has to sell, I think. No, he doesn't even have a power plant, so he's stuck if you look at his... Oh, we got some units coming in right now for Cold Hunger, and I mean, where's the portal? Where is the disintegrators? He needs that right now. Spectre really um, not as quick as he should be on the portal. If he if he pushes Spectre out of this game by taking out his eco, he will even the playing field here for death and uh, no death is out of this game too, is. No, he's, on, he's on three harvesters, so Dimitri is basically the strongest player in this game. It's up to him right now to do something. He needs to keep both players at bay. And that's yeah, going to be a tough to ask for him. Uh, cold Hunger time to recover. If he doesn't, then Cold Hunger is just going to slowly... Uh, uh, there is one harvester there, up. which uh, he's on. He's fixed on too. But yeah, not losing those bikes, uh, which is a good Cold micro. Hunter is barely just relying on spike income to get this refinery out, and he does as he just drops it as an expansion now. Should have had those harvesters moving quite a while ago, though. All right, and in the meantime, we can see Death Sentence who is getting his economy back up. Uh, but yeah, Dimitri should definitely push in to um, what do you call his base? Uh, Death Sentence is base because he has literally nothing there to stop those Scorpion tanks. And he has to yeah. basically attack it right now. Yeah, Spectre finally opting to go for a fast lane, which is quite late. Um, 
Cold Hunger is actually making a comeback as he just dropped down his power plant in his refinery. He's got two harvesters in the bottom, which he's forgot about, by the way. I think he's left that there on purpose for when he expands down there, but I, I can't see that being intentional as well. All right, so yeah, it looks like Death Sentence yeah, but, might, yeah, be, have, might have been given enough time to uh, hold this off. It's all gonna, this game is going to come down to whether or not he holds this. If, if he micros around this War Factor, which he's doing, he might be able to do it. The Flame Tank coming in, it is, if he gets this War Factory, I don't think he will. He's even using the Scorpion Tank to focus down the War Factory, um, which is very good on him. If he gets it, though, he has to, he has to commit for it. He's already done so much damage. He uses the Flame Tank to push in there, yes. And boom, that goes down. He only has one War Factory left. And I don't think that'll be enough versus uh, the double War Factory here of... Uh, Dimitri. There is Dozer Blades also out for Dimitri, which is a, a nice advantage as well. And this flame tank is going to tell oh, these scorpion tanks are easily won here. Is drawing so much fire from the scorpion tanks, allowing him to get amazing trades off of the scorp fight, which is exactly how you want to use it in this uh, non versus non situation. And at the bottom here, we do have some disintegrators fighting some pred tanks, but the rifleman in the bunker will clean that up very quickly. As Cold Hunger, like I said, he's just making a comeback due to Dimitri doing exactly what he needs to do, holding both players off. He needs to get some buggies or something to handle these disintegrators of Spectres. Fortunately, he does have Dozer Blade, so he will be able to crush these uh, with immunity. But Spectre, if I the micro is on he's point. I don't this Dozer Blade power, but now he is. Yes, he's crushing them all nearly. Ooh, so close. But that will be enough to what he needs to tempt us off, I think. Oh, he's continuously pumping these scorpion things out and some flame as well. But the storm column will scare that attack force away as... Once again, Cold Hunter is just... I'm surprised he came back from this. Well, he hasn't got anything um, as far as units is concerned, which is a problem for him because he needs to get something out. If I was him, I'd probably go for air right now. Especially because Traveler's on tier 3 and you can probably lose the game in an instant to the Prodigy. So Hammerheads is the, the name of the game. Going to go for Hammerheads right now. And there's no expansion yeah, up for Death Sentence. So it, I'd say the game is reasonably balanced right now. Although the, the tripod numbers are counting for uh, Spectre. Yeah, once you get a half dozen tripods with this Devastator, I think you'll be able to just run into Cold Hunger's base and clean this up. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, um, Dimitri, he didn't kill off Death Sentence. He had the, the time. He had everything oh, going for him. He could have just he could have just killed him. Yeah, we have disintegrators up here at the bottom, which might be taking out some harvesters. No, this hammerhead combined with this shredder turn should be enough to send that off. Well, redeem, uh, the Redeemer is going to come out. We have here expanding for Spectre, being an aggressive push as... I'm not sure what he's doing with these tripods. He's going for Dimitri at this point. So it's That's actually a good idea because if he gets this Redeemer out, it could uh, pose an enormous threat to Death Sentence, who has no economy right now. Actually, he did just place another refinery after losing the two on his main to the Catalyst. And this Redeemer facility is as good as dead once this Devastator Warship gets into the fray. And uh, I don't think there's anything that Cold Hunger can do to support his ally after that devastating flame rush that was done to him earlier on in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Your mic is uh, cutting out just a bit there if you want to take a look at that. But the uh, tripods indeed are coming in and just wiping out this base. Like I said, once you get about a half dozen of them with this Devastator, it is just an overwhelming force for Black Hand and uh, GDI to stop at Tier 1 and 2. True. Um, Cold Hunger is on tier 3, but yeah, Death Sentence, he's recovering now. The Redeemer does go out. I'm surprised they allowed that to happen. That was uh, somewhat of a mistake. Uh, I feel I, like they were just worried about the structure. As you can tell, there's no infrastructure left. It's better to go for that. Even though he has a Redeemer, he won't have any buildings left to utilize this Redeemer. And given the tripod presence on the map, I don't think the Redeemer is quite the most optimal unit to be focusing on. No, 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 that's true. Um, I really don't see any outs for uh, Cold Hunger in this game. Yeah, Cold Hunger may be you know, very good. Going for a Marv as well with these Juggernauts, but he did exactly what he needed to do, Cold Hunger, but that rush at the beginning of the game, losing both refineries as well as his War Factory, was just too crippling to look past. 
Yeah, and seeing those Devastator warships, I think um, Dimitri's going to call the GG. And I'd imagine that Cold Hunger Cold will Hunger follow suit soon. He doesn't seem like the player to drag games at, but he may keep playing this just to uh, extend the game, I'm assuming. Well, it's he, always he worth was... it. You know why? Because you can fatigue your opponent. Uh, and that can benefit you if you uh, have more stamina than your opponent. I've, I've noticed that Technique does that. He drags games in tournaments so that when he plays uh, you're, you in the next game, you're already fatigued and you don't have enough energy to beat him. <laughs> so yeah, pretty yeah. Uh, strategic. Though in Unleashed case, it's mostly uh, he just doesn't quit because he's unleashed. Yeah, you're really chopping out right now. Are you? Is your mic working? Because, <laughs> not gonna lie, you're losing about half of what you're saying. Just in this game, shocking. Um, I don't know actually. Is it still the same? Um, I'm, I'm actually not noticing it right now, but sometimes you can even ask the chat. It does get where you can't hear you at times. Alright, well, I've got but nothing running in the background, so. Not entirely certain. Anyway, I'm actually recording these games anyway, so... No, oh, perfect. Well, um... The, your mic's might not shock me, just as I pointed out, but, um... The... having two epic units, as well as his hammerheads and juggernauts, he does look like in a pretty... Um... holding position, but I don't think he has... much to answer for. He actually has an elite hammerhead, if you didn't catch one to that. He's actually got a lot of forces, actually, the Juggernauts and yeah. all. If he gets a good Raging off and takes his Hexbot, he could take this game, but these these Beam Cannons are going to be, like, critical. If he gets the Combined on them, that's going to be crippling, but these Juggernauts are going to be focusing them down, not allowing them to stop as he is going to want to get behind this Infantry Force rolling up here. And it does look like he's going for Blue Flame as well. Death sentence, so that'll be very good left in terms of contest these uh, juggernauts and such. But this hexapod just running in, he needs a good rage in off. I would recommend he rage in now and just focuses on this uh, hexapod with these behemoths. I think he could take it out, but yeah, he has about six juggernauts here. If he just rage in now, moves in, I hope that they're out of position. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, he's getting harassed in multiple sides now. He's going to get his uh, base slowly torn to shreds. There's literally nothing he can do uh, to stop this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised yeah, to see him on the call the GG the because that's basically it. And that's going to be GG. Yeah. Alright, so that's 2-1 yeah. in favor of um, Dim I mean Dimitri and Cold Hunger. So yeah, uh, Spectre and Death Sentence... Um, Stopping the momentum, they desperately needed that because being behind 3-0 would be absolutely devastating and at best of seven. So, yeah, well played absolutely. to those guys. Yep, uh, I don't suppose anyone really knows how to play Red Zone. Uh, maybe Dimitri. I've seen Dimitri play Red Zone quite frequently um, as there's never always a game for him to play when he signs on, so he just plays Red Zone. So I guess yeah. he's pretty good on this map. And Cold Hunger, if he's uh, a new player, well, well, I don't imagine he's a new player based on his performance now, but I guess he knows how to play Red Zone as well. So I've, I reckon uh, those guys have an advantage on this map. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Um, Phantom's wondering if you saved game one, have you? No, I did not. I haven't been saving any game. Yeah, neither have I. Um, he, he says that the other games have been saved by someone, but... The first game, unfortunately, was not saved. So it's going to be a mirrored matchup this time. And do we have left versus right or top versus bottom? We got uh, top versus bottom. Maybe how we got um, Dimitri playing as Black Hand, uh, yellow up in the top ha left hand side of Red Zone Rampage. And scrolling to the right, we can see his ally Cold Hunger playing as the blue GDI. Scrolling down to the bottom right hand corner as the green GDI, of course, Death Sentence. And sliding over to the left, right, our bottom left hand corner as the red black hand, we have Spectre. Shockingly enough, um, uh, Demi went for Power Plant first as well as, uh, uh, Spectre, which is shocking. 
Um, I, it's not really because they're black hands, so they, they have access to Cabal squads early on. So I guess they've done that just to draft Cabals. Uh, for GDI, it doesn't make any sense, but Black Hand, I guess it makes some degree of sense because they can anti-scout. And uh, what we got happening right now, we got, I suppose there is some cheese in store f from one of these players. I wouldn't imagine, uh, I would imagine that Dimitri has something up in his sleeve to pick this map specifically. Yeah, but very aggressive War Factory placement from Spectre as noted on the bottom left hand corner. Um, Wow, yeah, Death well Sentence as, uh, is going for some kind of Orca Rush. So that yeah, could definitely. throw these guys off if they don't spot it. But yeah, the buggy, there's nothing coming into Scout. So I reckon this is going to go unscouted right now. Um, actually, no, there is a Scout coming from uh, Demi, which is actually in shooting. Oh, uh, yeah, that's orcs. so bad. Scouting that, yeah, is, that is this yeah, early on. Scout that's Raider buggy. And there is two War Factory coming from Dimmy right now which is which going is... to be critical as they do scout that as well so yeah. and this is going to factory versus <laughs> nair filled rush is uh yeah i had question air on this map since the rush distance is so short it's just it's too easily to clean up these orcas to be honest with you. well it looks like specter i'm not sure what he's doing i don't suppose he knows either he's going for infantry now versus the two or factory and the orcas trying to find a gap dimitri is out of position right now and ho 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 that's gonna mean some dead harvesters Ooh. if he gets both these harvesters that's gonna be critical but i think he'll just get the one no he'll get both harvesters wow that is critical something that should not have happened that should not have happened, seeing it that far ahead. And as you pointed out, the infantry coming out on this map is going to be crippling. And like I said in a couple of games ago, that GDI are not very good at assisting their allies since they are a very slow faction. Um, but yeah, once this infantry upgrade comes, he can just roll through his base. Well, there is Harvest is getting um, dispatched here. Cold Hunger didn't do strike, though, any effort to get, pull those back. And the orcas, he's, he's gonna yep. decide to rebuild those orcas, which I guess is a pretty good move as the anti-air has been pretty much cleaned up. Um, there, again, there was no need to lose those bike buggies. Dimitri really not paying attention. Um, yeah, absolutely. And why can't point out these rocket squads have been just crippling for uh, um, Dimmy to deal with right now if he gets in close with those. He's spamming out. No, he's actually not going to harvesters which I can't first. Yeah, and the Orca is coming in to uh, clean up the rest of the harvesters here. It's probably worth sacking them. The but that's not enough. Uh, he's going to lose harvesters here. Two harvesters going to go down. So that's probably going to mean Dimmy is going to be out of this game. Uh, what's Cold Hunger got? He hasn't got anything. He's actually getting harassed himself by yeah, these, death sentence. The, the black hand infantry is cluttering the map. It is at a point where it's going to get critical mass and it will just roll over the players. Yeah, well, it's Demi we... Demi's fault for going to War Factory here. Though, I think he made... I, it was just a mistake on his part going for that to War Factory. Um, yeah, shocking that Death able was able to get that Orca Rush in. And as Black Hand Strength develops here, the spreading out of uh, this force as well as it's pushing in is uh, going to be forcing um, Andre, or not Andre, but Cold Hunger here to uh, defend this out. I think he's going to go for Hammerheads now as Orca Strike comes in to clean up a big... Ch no, this is the infantry. But AP ammo is done, so he will be able to hold this off just barely. Going to be... Death does snipe two there. Orcas there. Uh, Cold Hunger's Orcas not able to achieve anything. All getting uh, disposed of, and yeah... Um, Death Sentence coming in for another round of Harvester killing, and yeah, he just wasted the volley there. He could have got uh, three Harvesters, but uh, that's not really going to matter. He's just going to weaken Cold Hunger. And uh, Spectre, he needs to really transfer his halves to the green field right now. He's not um, on the ball when it comes to that. Uh, Orca is going to escape. Uh, Death Sentence doing more damage than what he should really do with this Orca rush of his. Um, he hasn't got very much in the way of eco. Uh, he's been mostly aggressive right now, but yeah, there goes his refinery. So now he's actually looking um, surprisingly good in economy. 
De um, Dimitri is uh, the, in the worst position this game. By far. And yeah, I would say in, uh, Death Sense is still just making good work of these orcas as pit bulls are coming in to engage riflemen with a hammer. It's not good. Um, the hammerheads are just patrolling. I'm not sure why they should be getting in there and doing some work on maybe these power plants and possibly knock the, the power down to the Death Sense and get out of the possible. Yeah, well, uh, those pits are going to get destroyed, though. I think Def is quite fine sacking units, given how uh, how far his team is ahead right now. Uh, I'm not sure if those Orcas were able to achieve anything. Uh, Dimmy's on Tier 3 right now, so maybe he's going to go for a Redeemer or something, but Spectre's been left to do whatever the hell he wants. He's actually not on Tier 3 just yet, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this game is not over yet. Uh, there is no units um, for... Spectre's team. Spectre wasting all those infantry in Cold Hunger's AP ammo units and watchtowers was probably a mistake. Uh, that definitely turned the tide, I think. Yeah, I reckon that uh, if uh, Spectre just accumulated his forces and took uh, uh, Dimmy out of this game with all of them combined, he could have easily turned the tide of this game much sooner. However, it does look like they are both evenly matched. Now, yeah, what 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 Dimmy should do is he should actually protect his ally versus these orcas, which he's not actually doing. But Spectre, with these infantry, going to anti-scout it um, the middle so that uh, Dimmy is um, quite uh, blind versus these orcas and where they're coming from. Going for the he's tip chemical plant, the tip yeah. which I think Dimmy is quite fine. Actually, why did he go for that? He should have gone for a redeemer. The redeemer would have made much more sense. But yeah, Cold Hunger, he's on tier 3 right now, so yeah, the Marv is going to be on the cards for him. And yeah, Death Sentence of all this economy, he hasn't got very much to show for it with units. Uh, Dimitri getting harassed now by some infantry of Spectre. Should be able to hold that off though with Shredder Turrets, um, especially when they're placed behind buildings such as power plants, because the hub will be then defended uh, much easier. But... Yeah, the, the Redeemer uh, would have been much better than Tip Chemical Planet for sure. But uh, yeah, Spectre really needs to transition from this infantry play. Uh, I'm surprised Cold Hunger hasn't been able to help his ally with APM or Watch Towers. There is one right there for Cold Hunger. Oddly enough, your mic's heading out in this uh, part two as well. Shocked when he came back. And yeah, I think Dimmy's getting a bit tilted right now. He cannot afford to be. They're still ahead in this game. Uh, I'd be a bit upset if I was Cold Hunger right now. And hopefully he decides otherwise and plays better. But yeah, he's, they're not actually that much far further behind compared to uh, Death Sentence. I mean, if he gets this Marv out, Cold Hunger, he's looking in pretty good shape. As there is no epic unit from the opposing team on the way right now. And the Marv on this map is exceptionally good because it can just harvest all this Tiberium on the right hand side. That will uh, get Cold Hunger's eco right back up. And as long as he can uh, get this Marv in and maybe kill Death Sentence, he has a good shot at winning this game. But he has to make something happen right now. Maybe go for a uh, tier 4 for the support powers. Alright. And sacking all these slingshots there. Death Sentence not paying attention. And yeah, this Marv really needs to start Marvis in that field on the right hand side if Cold Hunger wishes to come back in this game in any way whatsoever. And not really much else to say. Um, I mean, um, Death Sentence should be going for a tier 4 now because once he gets that out, he can just disable this Marv. He's already building Juggernauts out. Two or Fractory Jug with a tier 4 will end the threat of this Marv. And uh, with Spectre uh, pretty much untouched at this point, he's just going to move into Cold Hunger's base and put on as much pressure as possible, get Cold Hunger to quit and exit out of this game. And we're looking at a tie right now. Two all, I think, for these guys. Yeah, and the map choice not going in favor. These juggernauts is just uncontested as it just ends the battle very quickly. 
I think and... Denny is just suffering this 2v2 tournament throughout it. It's, he's just been off his game, which is really going to be costing uh, uh, Cold, or Death, or not Death, but Cold Hunger some games. Yeah, Cold Hunger's been on point. I, I can't really fault his gameplay. It's just Dimitri who's been letting him down in this game. He, he's just not playing that well, especially in that game where he lost the uh, harvesters to the Orcas, where he already scouted the Orcas. They, they, he knew they were coming. All he had to do was just keep an eye on them. 